Yeah. Got it? Yep. All right, Mr. Burns, what's the status of Lordstown Motors as we stand here today? Um, well, we, as we stated, we're, our intent is to come here and build electric pickup trucks, right, in this, this region. Uh, our intent is to purchase the Lordstown plant from GM. Uh, but I think you can appreciate the complexities of all the things going on there. So can't really speak to the status of the plant. Uh, we are on course for delivering the first vehicles going into production at the end of next year. So that's the main effort we've been working on is getting the cars ready, the trucks ready. It, it, does a lot of this depend on the negotiations right now with the United Auto Workers Union? Well, that's a complexity in there. Uh, we intend to use union labor and and union uh, has an agreement with GM you know but I don't know much more than than you do what we read you know of uh, how the strikes going or anything like that but it is uh, it's part of it but there you can imagine buying a facility of that size and complexity it's it's got a lot of moving parts the workhorse vehicle itself would these will be trucks that you're going to be building out there yeah so these will be workhorse is a my former company this is a new company we started we're calling it lordstown motors corporation and we named it that because we intend to make our our headquarters here and our manufacturing here and the lordstown truck the first vehicle we make will be a, the first electric full-size pickup truck in the country and i suspect the world will it be based on workhorse technology it's based on a lot of things we learned during our 12 years at Workhorse. So Workhorse primarily makes uh, delivery vans, like for UPS and FedEx or working on a, a mail truck. Um, th a pickup truck is a different animal, you know, a little more robust and all the things a pickup truck has to do. So, uh, and a little more current technology. The world is constantly, this electric world is changing. There's always a better motor, a better battery, a better this. So, um, but it, is, it certainly rides on the experience we had with uh, Workhorse. Some of the reports that have been out of Detroit are they just want to make batteries there. Um, does that affect your at all or is, uh, yeah. you've yeah, been reading I, the same stories yeah, I have, yeah, it's kind of what it thing. is. Yeah. Right. All I can say is, you know, GM, I, I, from what I take, you know, they want to build a, a battery plant here. Uh, we certainly want to build a battery plant here as well. We really think this could be a kind of an eco center here. We want our motor manufacturer in our plant making our motors. Uh, our electric motors. We want our cell maker to be in our plant making the cells. You know, we really wiring harness all the new a new parts that you need for this type of vehicle. Uh, we want to have them surrounding the area. How does the mail the 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 postal service contract affect what you're going to do out there? Uh, it doesn't. It is not in our our core plan, right? We uh, our business case represents or stands on its own just for the pickup trucks we intend to sell uh, and then you know we're gonna have a full-size pickup truck mid-size after that utility vehicle after that we gear all these towards fleets um, now if when and if workhorse wins the post office I certainly want to bid with them to try to build it for workhorse here because I think we will be tooled up to build electric trucks who could build it better than us so that's the goal but it that there's again a lot of moving parts between now and then well there are a lot of moving parts yeah. there's just so <laughs> many things that are going to happen between now and then aren't there yeah yeah well it's a you know you have the sea change coming and, and again our our speed and rush to be first to market you know we really think it's important to have the first and so uh we're moving it at light speed now this pickup truck is it going to be competitive with um gas powered pickup trucks will it have the power will it have the horsepower Will it have the durability? Will it have everything that a pickup truck, a, a guy that owns a pickup truck yep. wants? Yep. So, uh, again, we're selling this to fleets, right? So fleets know what they do with their vehicles, right? Their duty cycle, what they tow or what they haul, how many people they want to haul in it. So our first model, for example, is the full crew cab, right? So it can fit five large people in it because a lot of times you're moving people as much as you are cargo. But... You know, and we haven't really talked about this, so I'll, I'll give you kind of a, a first kind of thing. We intend it to be, have better traction. So we'll use the Ford 150 as kind of the standard. It's the best selling vehicle in America, uh, I think for like 37 years. So it's kind of the standard. Uh, and we will have better traction because we have true four wheel drive. Uh, we expect it to have better safety in the frontal crash because we don't have a big engine there. So we got a lot of crush zone and we expect it to get about 75 miles per gallon equivalent when you count the price of the gasoline. So if you're a fleet and you have a 75 mile per gallon, safe, green, uh, very good traction and handling vehicle, 
it seems to be compelling to fleets. Have you been pleased with the reception you've gotten in the Youngstown area so far? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, the, you know, we've met with Youngstown State, a lot of engineering talent. They are into a lot of things that we want to get into, autonomous and all that. So we're going to have a great partnership with Youngstown State. But I tell folks all the time, what we've learned is we, the plant is what attracted us here, but it's the people in the workforce that we really think is going to be a secret weapon. Why don't we see a prototype of the truck? I think you will see um, a drawing, a computer rendition of the truck this year. Uh, prototypes running around next year. And again, uh, initial production starting late next year. Got it. Mr. Burke, thank you for your time.